my god. Honestly, just fucking end it. That took so. That took so long. Oh, I better be getting a fucking character piece out of that. I better be, honestly. I'll say that much. West Indian Limit. What? Okay. Ah, uh, so this should mean that I get the best chest now. Should get the best chest in the entire game. Getting good chest. Great trouble, large chest. And amazing twiddle chest. Getting one more tier. Infinite Infinity Chest. What am I gonna get from it? Come on, give me something good, give me something good, give me something good. A piece of party corn, okay. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. I would've liked Party Rose honestly more, but Party Corn honestly, probably a better character than Party Rose anyway. I just kinda like the legendary tune a lot. 31,000 coins as well, holy. Jesus Christ. Well, that was a long end. At least last episode it was. Hi guys, I'm filming this literally right after I filmed the last episode, just because I finally have time on my hands to actually record a shit ton of videos. So I thought, may as well. You know, I have the time, so I may as well record them. So I just got a piece of party corn, and I've got over 600,000. That's pretty good. But right, for this second, why did I pick Super Brains? I don't want to play Super Brains. I'm going to get on with these final quests here. Uh, the final few quests for the zombie side to continue the campaign for the zombies because now I've technically beaten the entire campaign now for the plants I haven't quite done it though for the zombies I haven't quite completed the campaign for zombies so I'm gonna do that uh, well I'm gonna do most of it in this episode ah oh, special ops is first you what oh well that's gonna be fun so yeah we're gonna do special ops which will be fun, sure, totally. Um, yeah. Hope you guys have all enjoyed your day. Um, this episode, although it is being recorded straight after the last Gun Warfare 2 episode, this one will be released at least a few days later. So, by the time you're watching this, it's probably like the 12th or something of January, roughly, give or take, uh, so yeah. Well, I'm gonna want astronaut for this, because astronaut's just the best scientist, and the boss fight I'm definitely doing with, um, uh -huh, the boss fight I'm definitely doing with astronaut, there's just no other way. Since I don't have legendary characters, the next best option is astronaut, because he can heal himself to an extent, and... Just in general, he's a disgustingly good character at range. Actually, wait, do I even... Oh, I actually don't even have the healing... The right healing healing self abilities. So I might also need to use Foot Soldier or Super Brains. That's fine. That should be fine. Um, yeah. But Spec Ops is first before the boss, unfortunately. I could have easily gone and done this and not added this to the video, but I feel like starting the video off with me getting party corn was just the right thing to do. Um, well, not quite getting party corn, but get half of party corn. 
Oh, I don't. That does mean I'm gonna need to play some more Infinity Time though. Infinity Time's alright. It's definitely better than Ops. I'm definitely a whole lot more excited about playing it than Ops. Um, especially this Ops, because Spec Ops sucks. And you're gonna hear me say that a whole lot. Um, especially because I might even start playing Ops on crazy difficulty at some point. For a good few laughs, you know. See how bad I am at this game when I'm on crazy difficulty. I might even try and do the ca redo the campaign at some point on crazy difficulty, and I'll probably miss out on ops just to spice it. But yeah, that's how that's going to be going. And the bloody guy isn't doing his one job. Talking now. Astronaut, defend the actual point, please. I'm the frontal assault guy, not you, thank you. Alright. I'm actually close to finally ranking up a character, as all of my characters are still recruit rank. Um, Foot Soldier, although, is almost not recruit rank, so that'll be good. Get some more upgrades for him that actually, you know, matter that much. The first few upgrades aren't even really that good, so they don't really care. I don't really care about these upgrades that I've currently got for them. Being the zoom and uh, heal. What's it called? Heal reduction. No, not heal reduction. Regeneration delay upgrade. That's the name of it. I was being a dumbass and couldn't remember the name of it for the life of me. So, yeah, I'm fine. That one's fine. The zoom upgrade's practically useless. In fact, I physically don't real, uh, see a difference with or without, like, with or without it, unless I'm using a sniper character. But even when I'm using a sniper character, it's just such a useless upgrade unless you physically don't have any other upgrades for the character. So, yeah. I uh, hit my shrooms. Game was going everywhere. Alright. Surely that's got to kill at least one of them. Nope, doesn't even kill one of them. At least Hypno Shrooms look really cool in Garden Warfare 2. Eight, they look a whole lot more HD graphics. HD graphics quality. Oh, they're really annoying to deal with though. If you're close to them. Because that happens. I didn't realise one of you was right next to me. Oh, astronaut's already down? Like, what? Oh, yeah, they do a whole lot of damage. They do a lot of damage. What is that? Holy fuck. Okay, well... Shit. I think I'm just gonna have to do all astronauts, honestly. Hopefully they can heal themselves and defend themselves properly. Jesus. The, just... Actually, no. I'll... I'll... I'll do one foot soldier. I'll be the foot soldier and hopefully these three can at least look after themselves so I don't have to. Although that does make the enemy slightly stronger. Still hopefully won't be... It'll still hopefully at least be somewhat better. Because there'll be three of them looking after each other, not just one of them. Because apparently I don't have the self-healing abilities, which is really bad for the scientists, because it means they can't heal themselves, they need to rely on each other. So, yeah, hopefully with three of them should hopefully be enough... What are you... Thank you. Should be enough for them to defend themselves. This one might need to be ended before the bloody boss fight. Honestly, that's probably fine though, because then I can make a whole video uh, discussing what I like about boss fights and what I dislike. As I want to do that with all the game modes, kind of talk about them in full detail, um, including Infinity Time, so I guess it would actually be better 
um, both for the series video count and for, you know, smaller video lengths if I do it that way. So, I probably will. So yeah, I'll probably do all the quests until we get to the boss fight and then that's where I'll end it probably. In that case. Thank you. Okay, so I guess I could do a over description of what I like and dislike about ops while I'm here um, and do a more detailed description of ops as if it wasn't really already obvious completely everything that happens in the scan mode. Um, so, you're defending a garden or graveyard for 10 waves and let spec ops and it's 5, thank god, against enemies from the oppositional team. So if you're playing on plants, obviously you'll defend against zombies and vice versa. So, yeah, you just need to survive 10 waves. Two of them will be a boss fight. Wave 5 and 10 specifically will be boss fights. Then, uh, what's... My dumbass completely forgot what I was going to say there. Um, and then after the 10 waves, you have to try and escape with either Zomboss or Crazy Dave coming to try and pick you up from your current location. So, pretty much, it's a su endless survival game mode, except there is actually an end to it. Thank God. Uh, and that end isn't just if you die. This, although I do prefer it not being endless, the fact that there isn't also an endless mode is kind of a shame, as I feel like a lot of people did act like the people that did actually like um, the people that did actually like ops. It was kind of a shame for them because endless ops wasn't even an option, let alone a split screen option. Um, in Gun Warfare 2. So for those ops people that did like the idea of an endless ops, they'd have to play only with two people and the screens would be smaller. So it was kind of kind of a shame, but honestly, like really nobody even likes ops to begin with, so it's not like it was a really big number to begin with of people that actually liked ops. So yeah, that's kind of that's kind of a more detailed version of Ops, or me describing Ops in more detail. There's some behind me, you're kidding me. So, yeah, that's Ops. What do I like about Ops? Really not a whole lot. It gives you a lot of money, but there's a whole lot of things I don't like about it which don't make up for that. I'm about to die, fuck. Where are the scientists? Oh, they're there. Okay. I was too high on mushrooms, I can see them. Uh, yeah, so obviously it is really cool. It adds a new game mode to the game. Or it adds a new mode to the game. Oh, wait. Is this the... I think this is this is the one that I think it is. Ah, oh, this might not be good. Uh, but yeah, like, it's, it's cool. It's an extra game mode. So it gives, you know, it gives people more things to do and play in terms of Garden Warfare 2. You know, more modes equals more fun equals, you know, more people will end up playing the game. So, it's good at doing what it does, just a quick little easy, like, 30 minutes max game where you're just defending a point against AIs. Kind of like Guns and Graveyards, but there's only one point. It's not multiplayer, and it's a whole less fun. Um, other than that, honestly, there's not a whole lot of cool things that this game mode does, besides it's kind of... It can kind of almost be seen as a small introduction to different enemies. As, you know, it, it kind of shows you what all the characters do without that being that much of a problem. Kind of like the campaign is depending on what mode you're playing it on, obviously. 
it's kind of does what the campaign does in the case of you know it introduces you to the characters and shows you what matchups work and what matchups don't and you know kind of gives you an idea for the, all the different types of enemies bosses there are in the game so it's kind of like a nice introductory kind of thing and it's really the only other thing you've got besides um besides like the campaign it's really the only single player option so once you've completed the campaign it can arguably get worse than you know the actual camp like the campaign can arguably get more repetitive and worse on replay than ops so at least ops does that so it's not as repetitively annoying as a campaign while still also you know arguably being better but also worse than the campaign it's kind of weird it's just a different version of the campaign that doesn't really have as much lore or story and it's just something extra to do really it's not really that much of an important feature so it's just more an addition to the game I'm surprised I haven't even talked about what's going on on my screen right now considering I have no fucking clue surprisingly there's no hypno shrooms yet although there was there, there was there was a little bit ago I don't know where they went but oh well uh, these sun are gonna get on my fucking nerves and I'm about to die that wouldn't be very good now would it uh, so yeah like honestly it's pretty cool it's pretty good it's a nice little extra game mode but it doesn't really do any more than it was intended to do it doesn't really add much to the actual game unfortunately um, yeah it's just a nice little extra thing so now that we're done with all the good things that I like about it and that most people like about it we got to discuss all the things that aren't so great about it the main one like I said it's just really repetitive you play it like twice and you've literally done everything that the game mode has to offer other than you know giving you more coins because that was necessary this one's more than five ways what so, oh this this one's the one where you need a buddy this one's the one where you just need to survive I don't like this one um, but yeah more bad things it's just not really all that fun especially when it comes to spec ops when you have to deal with shit like what I'm about to deal with in a minute I actually have to go in the circle. Oh. All right, yeah, I forgot this. This hypno flower also turns you into a go as well as buddy, making you high on drugs. It makes you double high on drugs. That's fun. I don't think I need to kill everything though. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think this is just another survive one. Stay away from the plants, I'm coming, yeah. So this one's literally just another one of those cases where you just have to survive until the guy comes and picks you up. Um, already two of the guys are fucking dead. How? Where even is the last go? Oh, the la oh he's dead now. Just go, just go, just go, just go, just go. No, cut her off. That's weird. I'm now apparently scratching things. Even though that's definitely not what's going on right here. Okay, I just need to survive for another. This one's surprisingly not actually that difficult. I remember the first time playing it with the fucking Queen Sunflower was just on my ass the entire time. No matter how many attempts I put into it. So, yeah. Don't get vanquished, I must study you. Well, three of them are already gone, so... Yeah. 
you've just got me, I guess. I have arrived, let's get out of here. Do I actually have to go to you, or are you just gonna... Okay, thank you. So yeah, that was surprisingly relatively easy. I really didn't expect it to be easy, considering the first time I played it was a nightmare, but you know what? We take those. Still boring as fuck though, and I don't really like ops that much, and I'll continue to never like ops, okay? I'm sorry. If you guys play this game and you guys end up liking ops, good for you. I just don't. I just don't. I don't... I can't see how people would like ops. And arguably, it's never been a really great game mode from the start for me. So... Yeah. Deal with that information what you will. Can I get in through here? Thank you. <laughs> Drop of the brains, just you are not a goat. So I need you to repeat. Build a huge army to battle a huge new plant boss. Okay, so this one's simple. Okay, good. We've got some simple ones before the boss, and then just once I've unlocked the ability to fight the boss, then I can do that. Okay. Ah, uh, it's Gene Arrow once again. Me remember you. Pretty sure I've got te the teleporter working now. You find zombies, I teleport zombies here. You don't need to do nothing. Just, I just know when to teleport. Sure you do. We must assemble the zombies. The zombos. So we've got to go up to here to this cannon where a bunch of sky troopers are. Arguably rigged soldiers are better, but... I want... Whatever. We zombie elite air squads. We attack from air. They not expect it. We not actually know what air is, but think it sound dangerous. You shoot me from cannon now, I attack with air. I mean, I don't know what the fuck you were expecting. So can we not just take the rest of them? Why do we need to find this one specific guy? He was right, you're yeah, too dangerous. We follow you if you has better plan. Yes, I do have a better plan. But apparently Zombos is the one with the plan. Aren't you like, literally the leader of these guys? Why can't you just order them to help? I don't see why you need me to do it. And brown, yeah, brown coats can be really effective. We fight for Zombos leader, but not without hats. Heads get too cold. Find hats and we join army. Uh, what does army mean? Okay, you're not funny. Let's get over here, let's go find the cones or buckets or whatever they're wearing. Are they cones? They're most likely cones. Cone heads are more common than bucket heads it seems, so... Yeah, and there's a lot of cones here, yep. Thank you. Okay. That's a lot of cones though, like, do you really need that many? Turn to brown coats. Can I just leave, like, you guys? I don't need to deal with you plants, surely. If I just throw those down, they'll deal with you, right? Seem to. Where you find cone hats so fast. What? Oh, they're killing the fucking things. No, don't kill the army. Locate Gargantua. Now we're talking. Fucking brown coats. With cone heads. What are the cone heads gonna do? Tickle the queen thumb all. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't demonetize me. Please, YouTube. Yeah, okay, 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 guys. We were smashing plants before, it was cool. We got invited to Brain's party. Invitation said to stand here. Said it's not a trap. We agree, this definitely not a trap. And this is where, yeah. Why only three there? Oh no, this. There's a whole lot more than three, it only just showed three of them. That's weird. Can I just stick you to that? Thank you. Oh wow, that deals. That does nothing. 
that does absolutely nothing. What the fuck? Hopefully these guards have a bloody... What's it called? Infinite HP. Oh my god, I'm getting lasered. Well, this ain't good. Can I just let you guys deal with this? Like, I don't really think I'm... S I don't really think I'm cut out for this kind of thing. Yeah, I just get lasered the fucking second I stand out here. As soon as they start targeting me, I start dying. Oh, yep, yeah, okay, okay. I don't know why I started shooting there. So, there's more than three. Why do they have so much health, this one? My question. Like, you're not supposed to have this much HP. Oh, he's gonna come down to me. He's gonna come down to me. Stay away. Come on, kill him. Fuck, I'm dead. I am dead. I'm not dead. You. Okay, well that's one down. Maybe there's two actually. Maybe two of them went down. Because there's there's four left. Was there four or five before? I don't I don't remember. Well, I've dealt significantly more damage than this gargantua has. So yeah. You for the extra XP. I mean, at least this, at least this has given me a shit ton of XP. Okay, well, this is the last one. Gang up on this guy. Oh god, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Oh, he's coming down to me. He's coming down to me. Gargantuas, what are you doing? Kill him before I die. Yes. Oh my god, okay, we were, th we were thinking maybe it trap. We smash those trees. We help you smash more too. Okay, good. With that final edition, I am unstoppable. I... I mean, they are quite an interesting group. Quite an interesting pair here. Yeah. Why are there more brown coats than anything else? We ready to teleport army, attack plants from behind. No, the snow look like maybe we not turn on something. Uh, something wrong. Um... Oh, well, there goes the bloody army. What? Uh, we need a new plan. And the new plan is I'm the army, correct? Pretty sure that's how this is working. What happens to army? Yeah, boss on we're the army. Well, I think we'll end it there. I'll do the boss on and then an infinity time in the next two episodes. I think for now this will do for an episode here. So if you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends and family and whatnot. Uh, comment if you want to give me feedback or something. I don't know. I don't know what you guys... Whatever you want to do, do it. Turn on the notification bell even though it doesn't matter anyway because it doesn't even work half of the time. So, yeah. And, yeah, you know, just have a good rest of your day.